And in the evening, I like to find out what sort of crowd I've got in. You think I do it at the start, but as I said, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, so um, obviously most of you have got beers on you at the moment, but we're not talking about beers, but uh, give me a big cheer if you've done at least one narcotic in your life. Yeah! Good start, good start. Okay, now if you've done at least five narcotics, you know, different narcotics in your life, give me a kind of embarrassed cough. <laughs> fair few, fair few. Uh, if you've done more than ten narco narcotics in your life, make the kind of noise your mum would make if she found out. Oh, 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 interesting. Where's mine? Yeah, okay. Um, so there was a great guy the other day, I had a mum and a son on the front row and she looked at him and she said, you don't fucking dare. <laughs> Okay, who, who, know, who knows uh, who Professor David Nutt is? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah a couple down the front. Um, uh, Professor David Nutt used to work for the Labour government uh, until we all went crazy and voted in a Conservative one. I say, we, you, I didn't vote. Um, but yeah, he, he was their drugs advisor and he basically got fired for, for telling the truth about things like uh, ecstasy and marijuana and things like that. And uh, one of his, his uh, most often quoted sayings was that taking ecstasy is no more dangerous than riding a horse. Which is true, and he got fired. And I went, cap in the market here. <laughs> need new drugs advisor? I think I'll put myself forward. I may be an idiot, but I'm fucking honest, right? Um, so what I decided to do was I took a bunch of drugs <laughs> and then I rode a horse. <laughs> These are my findings. <laughs> this is a real scientific report which exists and is real and it's called uh, 12 uh, Common Recreational Narcotics and Their Effect on Equestrian Prowess. <laughs> perfectly at one with its natural rhythm. After the ride, you and the horse sit on the grass and discuss post-pop and earthstream jazz while eating dark chocolate and hummus. <laughs> Methadrone. You ride the horse normally, only it takes you till 8 o'clock in the morning. You spend all the next day swearing you'll never ride a horse again. <laughs> Cocaine. You ride the horse furiously. He eventually throws you off because of your cruelty, so you run off and try and fuck his girlfriend. <laughs> Speed. You ride the horse all day and all night until you reach Paris. The French eat the horse. <laughs> Ecstasy. You ride around the same field 300 times listening to progressive side trance. You then dismount and hug the horse for about two hours and nobody can decide which one of you is the sweatier. <laughs> That's some recognition on the front row there. <laughs> salvia. Oh, if, by the way, anyone doesn't know any of the drugs on my list, come and see me after the show. I've got salvia. <laughs> First one's free. <laughs> salvia. While you're riding the horse, it turns into a construction made entirely of rice. <laughs> Each individual grain of rice then explodes into a swirling constellation of infinite universes. The universes slowly coalesce into a Rolodex, which you flick through until you find a picture of a horse you recognise. You dive into the Rolodex to find you've travelled exactly three feet. <laughs> <laughs> Magic mushrooms. You are unable to ride the horse due to excessive laughter and the niggling conviction that your left hand has become invisible. <laughs> 2CI. You become convinced that the horse hates you. So you hide in a tree for six hours, humming dazed and confused and wetting your job. <laughs> Heroin. You ride the horse to Glasgow where you both fit right in. <laughs> betrays you over a once-in-a-lifetime smack deal and you die in a squat with a kitten and a dead baby. <laughs> LSD. You paint the horse in bright colours and ride it through the American Midwest, freaking out the squares. You eventually decide that the horse is God, you are Jesus, and you wake up in a California penitentiary with a swastika on your forehead. <laughs> Alcohol. You ride the horse at great speed into a bus stop full of children, killing 17 of them. <laughs> you escape punishment as the government decides that alcohol is perfectly safe and that the horse must have had a technical malfunction. <laughs> the horse is destroyed and turned into glue. You appear in a series of popular beer commercials and turn into John Terry. <laughs> and finally, number 12, ketamine. The horse simply falls asleep. Thank you. <laughs>